I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. I don't know what happened. It was like you said, I got a little inspired by Justine and I wanted to do her justice with her old finisher. So you decided to do something showy, took your eyes off what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. It's not my fault. You forced me into that gear. You put all that extra pressure on me. Listen, you get one brat moment with me and you just used yours. The gear was supposed to be a tribute, not a burden. You're here because you're good and you could be great. You could have gone out there and had a solid match and that would have been enough, win or lose. But you bit off more than you could chew. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. I'll do my best at damage control. At least you have some goodwill from WWE management since you decided to wear the gear. But I can't imagine they'll want you to wear it again. Not exactly the sort of performance they want to be associated with Justine's legacy. At least I'll get to wear the gear I designed next week on SmackDown. Sure, now's definitely the time to be worried about your appearance. Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown, and we'll take it from there. Did you hear that pop? What, the sound of my ankle popping or my career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Or more importantly, how's that ego? Ankle's okay. Ego? That's another story. Well, your gear looked great. Maybe, but I wish I hadn't worn it. Kind of sent me spiraling. Maybe I would have done better in my own gear. I've had enough coulda, woulda, shouldas to last me multiple lifetimes. It's not worth your time to live in the past. I wish I was medically clear to fight. I would have decked Charlotte Flair for you. What was that you just finished saying about the coulda, woulda, shouldas? Oh, shush. One of the few perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to ask my niece to do as I say, not as I do. Since I, you know, can't. Right. Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? If anyone taught me how to be resilient, it's you. I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. That's my girl. I'll find you in a bit. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. Sorry. I understand why you're upset, but I did my best. You grew up learning from one of the most talented WWE legends in history, and that's your best? I did a better job teaching myself in my backyard. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are going to rub this loss in our faces for a long time. But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. Of course. Actually, speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series. Patience, Robin. Patience. So... I know I didn't exactly get the best start, but I've got my head on straight now and I'm ready to go. That's great to hear. What do you have for me tonight? Now here's something that's less great to hear. WWE management thinks that after everything that's happened, we should take a beat before we put the spotlight back on you. Don't worry, I took your advice to heart. I'm okay with starting small, out of the spotlight. I'm not expecting to main event right away. Good, because you won't be. I'm going to level with you. Backstage sentiment is not good right now. You may be a SmackDown superstar, but you've got an uphill battle if you actually want to be on the show. So my match tonight is... Non-existent. Ah. What can I do? I don't want to just sit in catering. No one does, but this will all blow over. My advice until then, find some way to make an impact. Be so good in the ring that they can't deny you. 
How am I supposed to do that if I can't get a match? I said I couldn't get you a match on SmackDown. There are other opportunities to wrestle. Actually, I can pull some strings and get you on main event. You'll need to find an opponent, though. Most of the roster is pretty busy with commitments on SmackDown, and I don't have time to play matchmaker. Pretty busy or pretty mad at me, from the sound of it. Yeah, I may have heard those rumblings. Although, have you met Ava Moreno yet? She's pretty new to SmackDown too, and also would have something to gain with a good showing on main event. We've met. I'm not sure she wants to work with me. Neither of you have to work with anyone. You just have to show up and fight each other. Get her to agree to that, and I'll set up the match. If there's some sort of beef between you two, lean into it. No one said the match had to be friendly. Well, if it isn't little Justine, I would say I'm sorry how your big debut turned out, but I don't like to lie. What do you want? Let's cut to the chase. I want a match on main event. Molly said she can get me one if I find an opponent. It sounds like getting that exposure could help both of us. Are you interested? Sure. Great. That was actually easier than I thought. Oh, but let me be clear. I want a match on main event, but not one against you. I want to make an impact here in WWE and make my matches count. It doesn't help me at all to defeat some jobber. What did you just call me? If I wasn't perfectly clear at Survivor Series, I like people who've come up the right way and paid their dues. Not nieces who get handed special treatment because of what family they're a part of. And if that wasn't enough, I certainly don't like you after you proved me right and made a mess of things. Regardless of what you think of me, I don't see how just sitting around and complaining is going to change anything. I know as well as you do that no one else in the locker room is going to help you. You want a match with me? Prove that you have what it takes when you have to work for an opportunity. Pay some dues and stop waltzing around expecting special treatment. I don't waltz. We can agree to disagree, LJ. I've got some good news for you. You've actually got a match for me this week? Actually, yes. Wow, I wasn't expecting that kind of good news. Thank you. I should clarify. It's not on SmackDown, but at a non-televised live event. Dana Brooke was supposed to have a match, but she did one too many handsprings, sprained her wrist, and can't compete this weekend. I'm the backup option? You could have just booked me from the start. You're lucky to be any type of an option. Stepping in for Dana on short notice would definitely help your standing with management. Winning the match would help even more. Then I'm in, and I intend to win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, the Ninja.
Thank <laughs> you. 